There is a brilliant Zen story that illustrates that point. So, at some point, some lady comes to Zen master, old wise man, and she needs help because she can't sleep for several months. She's having real trouble sleeping because she has a recurring nightmare of some snakes coming into her dreams. So, you know, she's afraid to go to sleep because she's afraid that she will see that, that snakes in a dream. And when the snakes appear, she suddenly wakes up and she's not sleeping and she's, you know, <laughs> half crazy. <laughs> He says, look, lady, I understand, but you know what? I don't have much time and you're not giving me much to go on. I need to know the details. So please, go home and go to sleep. And please notice, how many snakes are there? I mean, five or seven, it's not the same. How long are they? How big are they? Uh, do they have stripes? What color are they? What are they doing? Are they hissing? Are they moving? So please, Take all the details, remember all that is to them, and then, of course, come back and maybe I will be able to help you. And the lady leaves. And after six months, he meets her in somewhere. And they greet and he says, oh, what about your snakes? Ah, never mind, they're gone. Do you understand the trick that he pulled on her? So, one day, maybe six months ago, how that happened. Uh, six months ago, maybe she went to sleep and for some reason she was dreaming some snakes. And since she's afraid of the snakes, she woke up and then probably tried to go back to sleep thinking, oh my God, please don't just let me dream of that snakes. And she carried that intention of not seeing the snakes, that anxiety of seeing snakes into her dream state and of course the snakes were back. And the next night she probably was afraid, oh please just, I don't want that snakes, I don't. but when you say in your mind, when you think about not seeing something, not seeing, what are you doing? <laughs> seeing the, I mean when I say, whatever you do, please now just don't think of pink alligator. What are you thinking about? Pink alligator. <laughs> However, the stupid <laughs> is when you say, I don't want to see dead snakes in my dreams, she's setting her up for a trap. And when snakes appear, she's afraid and she suddenly wakes up because she's identified with that well, creature, with, with that herself in a dream that is not only afraid of the snakes, but in the life threatening situation because of those snakes. But now, he tells her, go there and witness the snakes. Tell me all the details. <laughs> How many are there? <laughs> what color? What number? Big head, small head, thieves, no thieves, <laughs> poisons, non poisons. What are they doing? <laughs> and now she's entering a dream state with the intention of exploration. It's not about, please don't, I don't want to see dead snakes in my dream. It's about, hmm, let me see. I even hope that snakes are going to come back because I need to explore that situation. And now she is going into the, her dream state without anxiety. Actually, with some maybe even well, willingness and definitely acceptance. So she's accepting the situation. And she needs to analyze it, it's level of reason. We need to analyze that situation. And then snakes don't come back because snakes are reflection of your uh, fears. She was probably afraid of the snakes. If she were afraid of something else more than snakes, she would probably see that. But never mind that. She sees snakes because it is a subconsciously reflection of some of her fears. But when she faces that fears, <laughs> you know, then it's not so, it's not trouble at all. And snakes disappeared. And this is exactly how it is in a real life. Because our life here, our physical reality, is uh, like a dream in more 
in more ways that you could possibly imagine, and we'll talk about it also later. But from now on, from this point, your thoughts, your vibration actually, your vibration creates your thoughts, your emotion. Your vibration is what creates all those sensations and you always manifest in your life circumstances and thoughts and ideas that are consistent with your current vibration. And it, it is all that we are going to talk, we are going to talk about from the next chapter forward.